All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is High Country Overland. I'm Josh, and today we're going to be jumping into EDC. So, everyday carry or EDC is a big umbrella. It encompasses anything that you carry every day: uh, your phone, your wallet, keys, uh, a knife, all those sort of things, and a lot more. This video is going to be broken up into two parts. It's going to be what I carry every day, all the time, and then what I carry every day, most of the time. The difference is this Mountain Smith bag, which I refer to as my EDC bag. I carry that most of the time, but not every time. So this first video is going to be just what I have on me all the time. So the first thing is I'm usually dressed like this. I have some sort of 50-50 blend poly cotton t-shirt. Uh, some synthetic pants, some trail runners, and I'm usually always dressed to go hiking. That's pretty much all my clothes, my entire wardrobe. It's happened several times. I've been out running errands. Friend call, say they're at a trailhead. I stop what I'm doing. I go meet them for a hike, and I'm ready to go pretty much all the time. Um, I always wear trail runners. I like Brooks. I think trail runners are the way to go. I backpack and trail runners. I sometimes carry it over 40 pounds, especially now with the kids. And most of the time, I'm still wearing my trail runners. Trail runners, what I wear every day is what I wear hiking. It's what I wear uh, outside working, day hikes with the kids. So usually I'm dressed. If it's sunny, I've got a hat on. My go-to hat is this buff hat. It's fully synthetic. It packs down to almost nothing dries really fast, it's got some mesh on it, keep it cool. So my phone is one thing I always carry, but that is filming this video. So it's an iPhone with a hard case with a little sleeve on the back or a little door that opens and I keep my ID, my uh, um, insurance card, and my credit card in there. So that's all inside my phone, so I don't usually carry a wallet at all. So phone, hat, I have a Garmin Phoenix watch that's always on. And I usually carry the keys with me. So what holds my keychain together is this little titanium carabiner. It's strong, it's small, it's lightweight. I was on a bike ride one time where I was a sort of a rickshaw type bike, two wheels in the front, one in the back, and I was going down the creeper trail outside Abingdon, Virginia with my two, at the time, three-year-olds, and the front sway bar broke. And the reason I was able to get as far as I did is because I hooked that sway bar back on with this carabiner, and it held it until I get the bike back home and fix it. So, also got a, this is the Griffin Mini multi-tool. They say it has you know, 10 or more uses or more tools on it. Uh, the main thing I use it for is this little pry bar at the end. It's great for scraping off stickers or labels and getting all that sticky residue off of uh, surfaces. So that's really handy for that. Got the keys. This is a, a small pocket, a keychain Gerber knife. The straight edge. This Olight is the See the 1R2 EOS, this thing is 150 lumens. It's easily the brightest keychain light I've ever had. It's rechargeable too, so I just plug it in. I don't have to worry about carrying around a bunch of little batteries or anything like that. And Titan Survival is a company, have you checked them out? They make some great products. One of their specialties is their survivor cord. This is their keychain. It's got nine feet of survivor cord. It's got a ferro rod right here, a little, and another key clip. Um, the inside of this paracord are three strands that can be removed and used. One is wax jute, which you can then shred and use that as a fire starter, like a tinder bundle. There's also a snare line and a fishing line. So that's all in there if I would ever need it. And we got the knife to strike on the ferro rod just to start that fire. So that's my keychain. It's pretty small. Use a carry knife with me. So this is the CRKT. 
It's, it's one of their Carson design series. I like it because it has the Tanto blade tip and it's and this is my preferred knives are a mix of straight edge and serrated edge is like that design there so those that's all I have in my pockets and my phone and I usually have this belt this is the wazoo cash belt it's a double-sided velcro pocket belt so International Traveler has been using these sort of security belts for a long time to keep documents in or to keep money in. But for EDC purposes, you keep whatever you want in there. There's a bottle opener here. This is a, a signal mirror. So I opened it up. In the front, there's a carabiner. Another ferro rod. I'll put all the stuff in here so you can see it. That's zip ties. The one time I was off-roading in northern Georgia and I heard a rattle on top of the Tacoma and I couldn't get to, we discovered it was the Highlift Jack and I couldn't get to the zip ties and without taking out a bunch of stuff from the back of the truck. I remember that I had his belt on, whipped it out, was able to take out the zip ties, zip tie the, all the, the, the loose sort of rattling parts on the Highlift Jack just to, so it would rattle. And then you know, it was great because it didn't rattle anymore. It worked perfectly. So there's this, a little, little bit of duct tape that's, let's see, um, it's flat. Packs on pretty small, so it's not in shape. This is a water purification kit. It's got these three Ranger bands on it, but I also have the same Ranger bands on the Titan Survival keychain. The Ranger bands could be used as rubber bands, but they're also flammable, so if we use this fire starter. So this water purification kit has a, a bag and it has the purification tablets. I got 10 additional feet. Tight survival repair cord in the reflective, the reflective uh, safety orange. That was another Ranger band. I got this little folding impactable saw. Band aid, more Ranger bands. This is some fire starter. And then this is a little door opener for doors around the house, which often get locked. And if I can't find, I have these stashed all over the house, but if I can't find one, I have one with me. I'll find those. So that's everything that's in here. And so this and my phone are what I'm carrying all the time on me. So I'm gonna end the video here, and then I'm gonna start up the second part, which will go over what I, almost always carry with me was which is what's inside this Mount Smith bag. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment if you have any questions.